Kilograms and Grams Part 2 Grade 4 Hello my dear students, it's me, your teacher. Hope all of you are keeping well at your home. It's time to learn a mathematics lesson with me. Do you like it? Dear children, today we are going to learn the rest of the lesson, kilograms and grams. Okay, let's start. In our previous lesson, you learned what are called as weights and how we can measure weights, didn't you? We can measure weights by using two quantities. Yes, large quantities of weights are measured in kilograms. Then, small quantities of weights are measured in grams. Can you remember the symbols that we use in writing kilograms and grams? Kg for kilograms. G for grams. Now we are going to learn how to convert kilograms into grams and grams into kilograms. Here children, when we are converting grams into kilograms, we should know how many grams are there in a kilogram? There are 1000 grams in a kilogram. Here is the way we write it. 1000 grams equal 1 kilogram. 1 kilogram equals 1000 grams. Let's do some examples related to our lesson. As we discussed, now we have to convert the given quantities into grams. There are 1000 grams in a kilogram. So, if there are 3000 grams, how many kilograms are there? Yes, there are 3 kilograms. If there are 5 kilograms, how many grams are there? Yes, there are 5000 grams. Children, these are the examples. Look at the first one in the example number 1. It is 2000 grams. Can you remember how we convert grams into kilograms? Yes, if we convert 2000 grams into kilograms, it should be 2 kilograms. In the same way, can you find the answers for other amounts? 3000 grams equal to 3 kilograms. 5000 grams? Yes, it is equals to 5 kilograms. What about next one? 6000 grams equal to 6 kilograms. Look at the example number 2. First one is 4 kilograms. How many grams are there in 4 kilograms? Yes, answer should be 4000 grams. Next one is 5 kilograms. Yes, it is equals to 5000 grams. Third one, 9 kilograms. The answer should be 9000 grams. Last one is 3 kilograms. So, the answer should be 3000 grams. Now, it's your turn to convert the following into grams. A. 2 kilograms. B. 6 kilograms. C. 9 kilograms. D. 7 kilograms. And the last one E. 1 kilogram. Let's say a different number. When we are going to convert 3400 grams into kilograms, we have to divide 3400 by 1000. Or simply we can shift 3 places to the left in 3400. You can see it now. Children, when we are converting grams into kilograms, we can shift 3 places to the left. 
here also we do the same look at the first example it is 1100 grams if we shift three places from right to left one in the thousand place will remain so it would be one kilogram the three places you shifted are considered as grams here it is 100 grams so when you convert 1100 grams into kilograms the answer would be 1 kilogram and 100 grams a 2600 grams b 1340 grams c 6430 grams d 7000 grams and the last one e 3400 grams convert the following into grams look at the example children 2 kilograms and 50 grams the answer is 2050 grams 2 kilograms means 2000 grams when we add 50 to it the answer should be 2050 grams. Convert the following into grams now. A. 3 kilogram 350 grams. B. 1 kilogram 456 grams. C. 1 kilogram 90 grams. D. 6 kilograms 340 grams. Now you have to combine the equal weights. Look at the amounts given on the left side. The first one is 6 kilograms and 800 grams. Second one is 2 kilograms and 300 grams. Third one is 7000 grams. Fourth one is 7 kilograms and 400 grams. And last one is 8 kilograms. Okay. Now look at the amounts given on the right side. Can you find the equal weights for these amounts? You can find them and combine them now. Well my dear students. Today we learned how to convert grams into kilograms and kilograms into grams. I think that is enough for today. I hope you have learned something from my lesson. You can download the relevant student note from the Vidra College official website and complete all the exercises now. We will meet soon with another lesson. Until then, be safe and please keep on studying. Thank you. Have a nice day.